Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In this video, I explain to you how to install and configure DHCP on a Windows Server 2022. DHCP is the acronym for Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. The DHCP server dynamically assigns an IP address and other network configuration parameters to each device on the network. DHCP server enables you to centrally configure, manage, and provide temporary IP addresses and related information for client computers. DHCP reduces the complexity and amount of administrative work by using automatic IP configuration. In this video, I will learn about the steps to install Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. Then, I will explain to you how to configure Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and then how to configure it on the client's computers. First, open the Server Manager dashboard and then click Add Roles and Features. Then, click on Next button to continue. In this step, select Installation Type, select Role Based or Feature Based Installation. Then, click on Next button to continue. In this step, specify the destination server, in case you have more than one server. Select the host you want to add the services to, and click Next to continue. In this step, select roles that you want to add which is the DHCP feature, choose DHCP server box, from the server roles page. As soon as you choose DHCP server, new window appears. Click add features. Then click next, at this step, just click next, because we do not require any extra features at the moment. On DHCP server console, you can read brief information about the DHCP server. Click next to continue. Finally, click install button, confirm installation selections, and wait for the DHCP feature installation process to finish. After completion, click on complete DHCP configuration. It is the first step to configure dynamic host configuration protocol. In description, click next to continue. Then in authorization, click commit. And finally, in summary, click close. Thus, the dynamic host configuration protocol feature has been installed. And now I will work on second step, which is how to set up and configure DHCP from the server manager dashboard, click on the tools menu and from the menu select DHCP. Then from DHCP window, move to left and expand the server that you will work on. Then right click on IPv4 and from the menu select new scope. Click next to start new scope wizard. In this step, enter the name and description for this scope. You can type the name and description that you want. Then click on next button to continue. In this step enter IP address range for lease. Here you can enter the start IP address and end IP address. And these IP are the ones that will be distributed to the client's computers automatically. Make sure the length is 24 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. Then click on next to continue. In this step, you can add exclusions. If you want to create an exception, then enter the address range. For example, and it will add exclusions from 190 to 199. Then click on add button. And after adding, click on next button to continue. In least duration. You will find that the default lease duration is 8 days. Leave it as it is. And click on next to continue. Then in configure DHCP options choose yes. I want to configure these options now and click next. Then enter the default gateway of your network. And click next. In this step enter domain name and DNS server of your network. If your server is located in an active directory domain, it will be set automatically. Then click next. Click next to continue, then select yes, I want to activate this scope now, and click next to activate scope. Click finish to close new scope wizard. Thus, this step has been completed, which is the configuration and preparation of the dynamic host configuration protocol. And I have one last step left, which is how to deal with DHCP on the client's computers. Now, I will open one of the client's computers in order to explain to you how to apply the DHCP feature. On the client's computer, open the control panel. 
Then, click on Network and Sharing Center. Then, click on the name of the network. Then click on Properties. It will ask you for permission from the server to open the properties. Enter the admin and password to allow the client to open the properties. Then double click on Internet Protocol version 4, TCP and IPv4. Then select Obtain an IP address automatically. An Obtain DNS server address automatically, and click OK. And click OK again, then click the Details button, to view the information. Verify the IP address. You will find that an automatic IP has been assigned to this computer. And the IP will be assigned, to all the computers joining the domain. In this way within the limits of the ring, that we just created in the DHCP feature. I hope the video is useful to you. And thank you for watching. And I also hope to subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.